through the worst, not just the worst, but almost its entire epidemic. There are very, very few people in ICUs uh, right now in Sweden with COVID. Uh, there are very few deaths this month in Sweden with COVID. Meanwhile, parts of the rest of Europe are, uh, are seeing new rises in cases, and more accurately, I should say positive tests, because I, I have to say this over and over again. A positive test does not necessarily mean a clinically meaningful full, full case. It doesn't necessarily mean you're sick with the virus. So, right. so, so, you know, the Swedish model is looking better and better. We're, we're not going to know, you know, for three months or six months or a year, but it is certainly looking better. Or we can be New Zealand. In New Zealand, they've sort of committed to this idea of we're going to have no cases. This is so terrible. This thing, which so many people don't even know they have and recover from without ever even realizing they were sick, is so terrible that we can have no cases, uh, you know, on our islands anywhere. They just had, you know, and so they, 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 they underwent a very hard lockdown in March and April. Um, they have pretty strict border quarantines. They were so proud of themselves because they had no cases for 100 days. And guess what? All of a sudden, this week, they have new cases again, community transmission. They don't really know where it came from. And they're locking down again. And they're mandatorily quarantining people. In other words, they are physically separating people and removing them from their homes who are infected with this. I guess, I guess the technical, it should be mandatory isolation, not mandatory quarantine, because you're isolated if you're sick, not quarantined. But the point is, some of those people are actually resisting, according to New Zealand, or according to press accounts. So, so do we want to be that? Do we want to be so afraid of this thing, this virus, which, according to the CDC in May, kills one in 400 people and infects, and most of those people are you know, extremely elderly or have severe comorbidities? Or do we want to be a country that accepts that there's some risk here and we have to move forward, we have to have schools, we're going to let the hospitals handle this. And, and, and to me, the choice is clear, but con convincing Americans of this has been very difficult. Because they're terrified.